If you've ever been to a traditional Chinese medical doctor, you know that they analyze your tongue. In fact, Chinese medical doctors have been analyzing tongues for 5,000 years. <laughs> right. I think they're getting the hang of it. <laughs> and I think Western doctors mostly ask you to stick your tongue out to say ah so that they can see the back of your throat. Because the tongue is in the way, right? <laughs> well, let's talk about what we found out about and how important it is to analyze the tongue. Yeah, really. There's a lot of information and they've done thousands of years of analysis here. It's amazing how with our tunnel vision, we can focus just on what we want to. I mean, there's so many areas of, of health care that Western medicine just doesn't look at. When the Flexner Report came out in the early 1900s, what they bas basically did was corner the market of medicine. So there would be, quotes, evidence-based, and it would involve the use of drugs and surgeries and technologies, and all the other disciplines were put away. So homeopathy disappeared, acupuncture never had a chance anyway because it wasn't here. And we just kind of did our own thing in our own way. And yet, parallel and simultaneously, all these other disciplines were still going on and doing their thing too. And it's kind of odd that there's a group here working on one thing and a group there working on another and a group there working on a third. Why don't we get together and do something one, called integrative medicine? One of the things that I noticed sometimes when we would have health medicine forum meetings, many of these different disciplines, they all went about it a different way, but many times they came to the same conclusion. It's nice to have that flexibility. And I thought it was interesting about the tongue that you could figure out if somebody has gastritis and even if they have um, H. pylori. H pylori. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, they look at the color, the shape, the coating, uh, whether or not it's scalloped. Uh, and, and from that, they learn a lot. It's sort of like when they take a pulse. It's not the way we take a pulse. We take a pulse just in one place. They to count, several, well, we count the pulse. We count it. We kind of feel the, the strength of it. But they have three or four fingers measuring different aspects of, the, of what the pulse is like. Why don't we spend time learning something about that? Because, you know, maybe there's something to it. Well, now the University of Missouri has come out with kind of an interesting idea. You want to tell them about it? Sure. They're coming up with an app. <laughs> for for your smartphone. Yeah, so that you can be able to take a picture of your tongue. It's like, here, smile, stick <laughs> yeah. out your tongue. <laughs> and then you can, it'll analyze for you and tell you what your zeng is like. And zeng, of course, is the overall physical status of your body. So it's telling you about your degree of wellness. So if you have low zeng, it's a warning sign that something's going awry and it's time to do a more in-depth analysis, whether you do medicine or homeopathy or acupuncture or you feel the pulses or you look at the meridians or you use, I mean, so many different ways to look at things. So I wonder what the Chinese are going to think about having a smartphone with an app. <laughs> I bet well, they love that it. make their work easier. They can just ask their patient to email it to them or text it to them. <laughs> well, that's like an introduction. I don't feel good, Doc. Oh, let me just send me a picture <laughs> of your tongue. tongue. Right. Well, they can't do the pulses that way, though I'll bet there'll be devices out that will be able to measure the four different places where they feel your pulse. So we have to keep an open mind in healthcare to the many varied ways there are of looking at how we can analyze what our health is like. And if we do that and we are more open-minded and more integrative, we'll have more options for analysis and more options for treatment. And chances are, if we do that, we'll deliver better health care.